list for the women's double skulls, Romania, Ireland and Great Britain, Belarus, United States and Austria. And what a big day for Melanie Wilson, who sits a bow in the women's double skulls. Anna Watkins injured for this regatta. Decision was made to take her out. There's Ireland in lane number two. Deline and Puspru in lane two. And Great Britain's Catherine Granger poised, again knowing the road really to London 2012, again takes a big step on through 2011, the World Cup Series. And behind her, Melanie Wilson subbing in spare for the women's group last year. Belarus won in lane four. United States of America in five. And Austria will be in lane number six when we're off alongside. Still conditions very, very favorable down at the start. They're under starter's orders. Belarus won. USA. Austria. Attention. Catherine Granger was unbeaten through 2010 in the World Cup season and into the World Championship. She's looking to extend that run in the opening final of the 2011 World Cup here at Munich. And she's supported by Melanie Wilson in the bow seat, subbing in for the injured Anna Watkins. And Great Britain in lane number three. Steady start, but still away cleanly and away strongly. Up in lane one, Romania. Ireland are in lane two, Great Britain in three, Belarus in four, the United States of America in lane five, Austria are in lane number six, and Dan, pretty tight blade work there from Catherine and Melanie in the middle of the picture. Uh, doing very well. Mel, Mel Wilson is, is seventh, really, in the, in the uh, pecking order in Britain in the sculling group uh, because the, they didn't want to dis disrupt the quadruple skull and take somebody out of the quad to put into this, uh, to, to sub in for Anna Watkins. So what they've done is put Melanie in the boat and she's doing a fantastic job there. They were the fastest qualifiers and now already half a length ahead of the field. She's fitting in there really well. I mean, what, what a substitute. What a, what a fantastic reserve to have. And uh, Catherine Granger, they're really unbeatable. She must be uh, Britain's favorite uh, for an Olympic gold medal um, uh, in any sport next year she's just so on top of her game at the moment and whoever rose with her does fantastically the weight of expectation on Catherine Granger's broad shoulders there she's dealing with it so well one race at a time and they just step towards that all-important Olympic Games next year three-time Olympic silver over the past three games through the first quarter and Great Britain now are into a very easy Easy stride, nice rhythm. Paul Thompson continues to do a fantastic job here with this double skull, particularly with uh, mentoring Catherine Granger on that long road. And what a partnership that they have had over the last 10 or so years. Catherine Granger now leading Melanie Wilson out to a half a length lead. Catherine Granger, the world champion in this event. Granger from St. Andrew Boat Club and Wilson from Imperial College Boat Club. The United States are putting the most pressure on them at the moment. They're just uh, just overlapping. Uh, they were fifth last year, or at least the stroke was. Uh, Kathleen Bertko was uh, fifth. She's got a new partner now with Sarah Trowbridge in the bow seat. And they've just got an overlap on Great Britain, um, but uh, just under a length, a length down and rating about the same number of strokes per minute. But uh, the British double looking very strong, very, very, very strong in this. Anna Watkins will be watching this, uh, wishing she was in that. She's not, she, she's recovering, but she's, uh, she, uh, it was just thought safer to keep her out of the boat. But she, at the moment, through the winter and in the trials last, uh, last month, in the national trials, was going faster in the single than, uh, than Catherine Granger, who's been dominant in the single skull at home for the last six years. Um, but certainly, uh, this pair, with, uh, with this double, with Mel Wilson sitting in the bow seat, is moving very well. Glorious conditions. We head towards the middle part of this race. Romania in lane number one haven't showed. Ireland in two. Great Britain leading in lane number three. Belarus in four. The United States in five. Austria in lane number six. We're heading into the third 500 meters. 
and really it's growing by numbers. Easy stuff for Great Britain now. Let's just take it out. When they train, it's all about taking out the 500 meters and you train on a profile of a race. So Great Britain will know into the third 500. They just have to squeeze it on, looking at Belarus there in a lane number four. Bichik in the bow seat, former world champion back in 2007 in this event, struggling with the pace here from Great Britain and also the United States. How things have changed, Gary. It was always Romania and uh, East Germany and, uh, and uh, Belarus who were out in front of everybody. And now Great Britain absolutely dominating. And even with a spare sitting in the bow seat there of the, uh, of the double skull, they're still leading the field. The United States, we're watching them now, are taking two more strokes per minute than Great Britain over this race. And that is a mark of the confidence of Catherine and Melanie in the British crew. They are really aware of their boat speed, how the boat is moving here. And they have the confidence to just sit back, take two strokes less per minute because they know they're moving a lot more efficiently than the United States, Trowbridge and Berkto next to them in lane five. Well, that's open water now, steadily, just steadily moving away, 34 strokes a minute, and uh, just moving very sweetly, boat running very nicely. And uh, the United States, under more pressure, trying to make some sort of uh, uh, inroad on this lead, but not really in the same class. The United States ch uh, do, do things very differently. They, make their, they have their trials and they select their boats differently. It's gone all of Great Britain's way throughout the race, 1,500 down. 500 to go. Catherine Granger steps on on this path to London 2012 by just churning out a gold medal at each and every occasion. It's going to be an opening goal for the 2011 season, unbeaten through 2010. World champion in this event at Lake Carapiro World Championships last year. What a season and what a winter's training that they've had here. Alongside her, Melanie Wilson in the bow seat, backing up well. Anna Watkins covering from injury here. But sheer determination on the face of Catherine Granger because she knows the end of the rainbow. There's only one medal color. Three silvers at the Olympics over the last three Olympic Games, hunting that all-elusive gold medal. And she's looking better and better and better. The interesting training systems of the, of the United States and, uh, and uh, Great Britain. Great Britain has a squad system, so everybody there works together right the way through the year and year after year. In America, it's whoever wins the trials who gets selected. So this uh, American double here, it's always a different crew every year. It's a different, uh, a different crew that comes through because they don't sustain that, uh, that squad preparation that works so well for Great Britain. What a day for Melanie Wilson as she sits in the bow seat, backing up Catherine Granger for Great Britain as the women's double skull come up towards the line here now. Totally professional performance right from the first stroke, unfazed by the early attack from the United States. Gold for Great Britain, silver for the United States of America, and it'll be bronze for Belarus as they come over, limping over the line now. Great Britain going from strength to strength. Well, Melanie Wilson arrives on the international scene, and that's a pretty, pretty impressive uh, debut for her. Seventh in the British uh, sculling, women's sculling group, um, and comes straight into there to sit in for Anna Watkins. Um, very pleasing, very pleasing. Wonderful acknowledgement there from Catherine, from her teammates. There was a lot of pressure on Melanie Wilson's shoulders in that race. The world looking at Catherine, following her every stroke of the way.